Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Maven, Geno, and Git improvements of Eclipse 2022-03. Improvements that have been added since the last release in December 2021, three months ago. Java 18 support is not yet built in, due to the Java 18 release date being a week after the release of Eclipse. But you can install the current review of the Java 18 support via the Eclipse Marketplace. Let's have a look at what is built in and does not need to be installed. The Java editor provides two new nice quick assists. On a static import, you can press Ctrl-1 for the quick assist Add to Static Member Favorites list. This adds a static method or constant to the list in the Preferences in Java, Editor, Content Assist, Favorites. Static member favorites will be suggested by the content assist. And when you select one, the static import will be added automatically. You can choose to add a specific one or, with the asterisk wildcard, all static methods and constants of a class. Inside a lambda body, Control 1 will give you the quick assist Extract Lambda Body to Method. This is a helpful refactoring for lambdas that have become quite large, isn't it? Speaking of lambdas, in a line containing a lambda expression, where the lambda parameters are declared, you can right click on the left ruler and choose Toggle Lambda Entry Breakpoint. Lambda breakpoints are a new feature introduced in this release. In the breakpoints properties, you can choose whether to stop on entry or and on exit, just like for method breakpoints. Another Java debugging improvement is the possibility to navigate from the variables view to the field declaration. In the Variables view, right-click a field and choose Open Field Declaration. You can change the value of a field even if the field is final. But be careful, such a change can also affect code that appears not related at all. Therefore, before the value of a final field will be changed, you will now get a warning so that you can reconsider and cancel it if you like. You can disable the warning via the checkbox Don't show this dialog again. And re-enable it in the Preferences Java Debug by ticking Warn before changing final fields. Since the last release, it has become possible to label an object instance. Such labeled objects are displayed in the variables view in red, everywhere where they appear. Now, also in the expressions view, those labeled objects are displayed in red. Another minor improvement is the displaying of the process ID. In the debug view, the process ID is shown at process nodes at the end in brackets. In the properties page of the process, the process ID is shown as the first item. And in the console view, the process ID can also be found in the header line at the end. In the console view, the ID of the system process is displayed when debugging or when running a Java application or for most other launch configurations. In the Java formatter, there are six new settings. One new formatter setting allows the indentation where nested method calls are wrapped. In line wrapping, wrapping settings, function calls, below qualified invocations, 
there is the new checkbox indent from the base expression's first line. This gives a nicer formatting, doesn't it? The setting is enabled by default. To get the same formatting as in older Eclipse versions, you will have to disable it. The other five new formatter settings are for switch case constructs, for new lines and for line wrapping. In new lines, keep braced code on one line, the two options, switch case with arrow and switch expression statement with arrows have been added. And in the line wrapping, wrapping settings, statements, there are now three new locations for line wrapping. Switch case with arrow, expression in switch case with arrow and expressions in switch case with colon. Set all three to do not wrap to get the same formatting as before. Maven support has been improved a lot. In the Maven log, a couple of things are linked now. A click on the project's headline opens the project's POM file. This also works in the summary, at the end of the log, where a project is mentioned. A click on a test that was run by Maven opens the test results in the JUnit view. That's cool, isn't it? And clicking on a class with a line number takes you directly to that class and to that line. Debugging of tests run by Maven has become so much easier. Before running the Maven build, just make sure that a breakpoint is set and the Maven Surefire debug property is set to true. Everything else happens automatically then. Creation and launching of a remote Java application debug configuration that listens on the port given in the Maven log. In the Maven POM editor, in the Source tab, there are further improvements. The content assist is much faster as suggesting dependency-related things on the first call by querying search.maven.org instead of using the indexer of Maven. For configuration elements, the description has been moved to the top. And by the way, since the last release, the Java module system command line arguments add exports, add opens, add reads, and patch module have also been recognized. Apart from these Java and Maven specific improvements, there's also a general platform improvement worth mentioning. Large files of a specific type can be opened with a different editor. In the Preferences, in General, Editors, Large File Associations, you can choose whether you generally want to be prompted which editor to use to open files that exceed a certain size. Or you can specify an editor for project files of a certain file extension exceeding a certain size. For example, you can specify for XML files larger than 20 megabytes to be opened in the text editor.
which for large files scales better than the more feature-rich XML editor. There are also a bunch of Git improvements. Fetching a pull request of a Gitty repository is now as easy as with GitHub and GitLab repositories. Copy the URL of the pull request, right-click the Gitty repository and choose Fetch Gitty Pull Request. This opens the pre-filled Fetch a Pull Request from Gitty dialog, which just needs to be confirmed. That's it. A local branch has been created containing the changes of the pull request. Gitty repositories not hosted on gitty.com and self-hosted Gitty repositories have to be configured in the preferences, version control, git, servers. In the Git repositories view, a further improvement is that Open in Commit Viewer is now also available on branches and tags. In the Git staging view, there is a new button to hide untracked files. When pressed, both the number of the tracked unstaged files and the total number of unstaged files are displayed. When switching to another repository, the button will become unpressed in order to avoid the untracked files being overlooked. Now the commit message will be cleaned up before committing, the same way as it will be done in the command line git. By default, trailing white space and leading empty lines will be removed and sequences of empty lines will be reduced to a single one. Press the preview button to see the cleaned up message. Comment lines, starting with a hash, will also be removed by default. In the edit mode, comment lines are colored in green. You can determine via the config setting, commit, cleanup, how the supplied message should be cleaned up. For example, white space will not remove lines starting with a hash. and verbatim completely disables the cleaning up. Also, push to upstream now behaves like git push on the command line. By now also considering the config settings, push remote and merge for a specific branch. As well as remote push default, and push default for all branches. Using these config settings might be helpful in very special cases. A warning dialog will be shown when more than one branch is going to be pushed. Push remote can also be configured via the git branch configuration dialog. Besides remote for the name of the remote and upstream branch for the name of the branch to fetch from and to push to, the new push remote field can be used to override the upstream branch for pushing. In the push dialog, there is another change that has been requested by some. The push button is already enabled on the first page, so you can skip the preview page. On Windows, SSH agent support for Win32 OpenSSH, the OpenSSH port from Microsoft that is included in modern Windows has been added. If you want to use Win32 OpenSSH instead of Putty's pageant, go to the Preferences, Version Control, Git, and choose it as default SSH agent. Please note, the default SSH agent can be overridden by the Identity Agent config setting. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release March 2022. All Eclipse Java IDE packages are offered for Windows, Linux and Mac OS and are shipped with Java, Maven and Git built-in, ready to code. Thanks for watching and happy coding!